Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to find the nth term, okay, of any arithmetic sequence, okay? So what does the nth term mean, all right? So in this case, the n is a variable, so it can be any number, all right? So here we have a sequence uh, 2, 10, 18, and 26, all right? And by now, you can probably figure out that the common difference of this is plus 8. So plus 8, plus 8, and plus 8, right? So the next number in the sequence would be 34. But say if I wanted to know, say, the 500th term, or the 5,000th term, or the 5 millionth term, okay? That would take you a long time to figure it out, right? So um, I'm going to show you how to use a formula to figure out the answer, all right? And that formula is is right here, all right? So it's, it's a to the n equals a to the 1 plus n minus 1 to the d, okay? So let's identify the, the key parts of this formula, okay? a to the, the 1 is the first term of the sequence, all right? So our first term here is a 2. So I'm going to just put a little 2 right here, all right? Now, d is the common difference, and our common difference is 8. All right, and the n, I'm gonna actually add something here. The n is the term we're trying to figure out, okay? So for this one, I wanna figure out the 16th term of the sequence, okay? So what the 16th number would be if we kept adding eight. So for this one, n is gonna be 16, okay? And then a to the n is gonna be our, our answer, all right? So let's actually write the, um, let's plug in the values. So a to the n, is going to equal our first term, which is 2, plus, now n minus 1, so n is going to be 16, because that's what we're trying to figure out, so 16 minus 1 to the d, and now the d is the common difference, which is 8, so times 8. And now it's going to be 2 plus 15 times 8. Now we got to simplify, so order operations, 15 times 8 will give us 120. And 120 plus 2 gives us 122. So the 16th term will be 122. All right, let's try another one. If you turn the page, let's look at this. All right, here we have the sequence 7, 11, 15, 19, and 23, okay? So again, let's first identify all the key parts here. All right, so it looks like our common difference is gonna be a plus four. Yep, so our common difference is plus four. Our first term is the seven. And we wanna know what the 40th term is gonna be for this one. So we're gonna say um, the n is gonna equal 40. All right, so let's plug in what we know. So it's gonna be a to the n is gonna equal, so it's gonna be uh, seven, that's our first term, pl uh, plus, oh, I messed up there, let me erase that. All right, seven plus, so our n's gonna be 40 and then minus one, All right, times our common difference, which is gonna be four. So that's not gonna be seven, plus 39 times four. And when I do 39 times four, and then add seven, I get 163. So 163 would be the 40th term of our arithmetic sequence, okay? So now that you know how, what, uh, how to use the formula, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problem now. And when you're done, hit play and see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you did with this problem here. All right, so here we have the sequence 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. So you can tell that the common difference is gonna be plus 20. All right, so I'm gonna write uh, 20 over here. And we wanna know what the 20th term is gonna be. So our n value is gonna be 20. All right, our first term is the 100. 
So let's let's plug in the values into the formula. So it's going to be a to the n. It's going to equal again our first term is 100 plus. We want to know the 20th term, so it's going to be 20 minus 1 times our common difference, which is 20. So if I do 20 minus 1, uh, that's 19. And then 19 times 20 plus 100 will give us a number of 480. So 480 would be the 20th term in the sequence. All right, how'd you do?